Hello, how's it going? I'm playing Cassadin. We're against the Viger. So the reason for Cassadin, by the way, is in theory, it gives Cassadin a bit of a free lane phase. It also gives, in a way, Viger a free lane phase, but most of the time a Cassadin is going to be scarier in late game than a Viger. Most of the time. It doesn't mean, like, Viger can't, but yeah. So we have a Duke Cube bot lane. We have a blue cane by the look of it with Dark Harvest. We've got a Cho'Gath top versus a... Well, early-ish game Renekton. He's gone Conqueror, which is late game, but then Ignite, which is early game. If I'm going Conqueror on Renekton, I'd go TP. I'd be committing to, like, a Blade of the Ruin King late game build, but that's a contradiction. Because, like, eventually, even with Ignite, Cho'Gath will just walk over a Renekton. So, yeah. Do a Q uh, support and jungle. So either I've got to be careful of... Well, even my bot lane, I have to be careful of getting ganked a lot, or... I have to be careful of a support and a jungler coming mid at the same time. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it'll be all right. Hopefully I'll be all right. True. Again, so just to say to the YouTube channel about what like, people have asked about job stuff a little bit. And like the pros and cons of like, you know, I'm actually weirdly looking forward. And, you know, some of you may know I've got a job interview this week and stuff. I'm looking forward to certain aspects. You know, I'm not saying I'm getting this job, by the way, but... Um, I it, when you you yearn for things sometimes that you don't have, and like I, it's weird. I love being a content creator, but having colleagues would be nice, you know. Um, but then someone in chat twisting already says you're definitely not not jealous of me being a content creator. I have to play League of Legends for a living. Yeah. I mean, it's still really good. Like, don't get me wrong, it's still good. It's just stressful. Like, being a content creator usually is a really like amazing chill thing you know a variety streamer who's made it they just have play, play games and have fun league is a bit more i would say stressful than that because it's a very high intense high strong toxic a lot of the times game the community you know isn't the best um but I, it's still a good thing you know 10 15 years ago if you said to me oh you're gonna be playing the game that you're just starting to play now so like season one of league of legends oh yeah that's gonna be your full-time job i wouldn't have believed you obviously crazy But as I said, again, I, I said in a YouTube channel a few days ago, like, yeah, I, 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 I'm not actively looking for a job, but I keep an eye on a couple of different things just in case a dream job comes up. This is the first job I applied to this year. I got an interview and they seem, well, they actually seem a lot more excited than I. But um, it is a dream job and I'm taking the interview, obviously. I think it'll be confirmed official time and day uh, tomorrow because it's a bank holiday today. Um, and yeah, we'll just see how it goes. I think my biggest dilemma is if I actually get offered the job. That's the weird thing. But, you know, as I've said a few times, I'm 30 soon. I've, you know, me and Queen Pleb are engaged now. You know, and that comes of marriage and eventually starting a family. So I do have to think about my future and, you know, let's not beat around the bushes. The my A lot of content creators, including myself... It has been a bit on the decline. You know, I actually watch a bunch of content creators who are like old content creators like me. We've been doing it 10 plus years. Even them people. And a lot of them are more successful than me, by the way. A lot of them are kind of saying like, oh, my views are going down. Income's going down. I think it's just the, the natural way of if you've been doing it such a long time, your natural viewership goes down a bit. And it kind of, the, the new generation of content creators kind of moves in. I'm not saying what it is. I'll talk about it after the fact. I don't want any, uh, like, I, I, in a way, I probably shouldn't have said um, I have an interview. The reason why I didn't, and I said this to Queen Pleb, is I didn't want it to be, like, an absolute shock. Because I, I love this community. Like, honestly, you guys, you guys probably don't realize how much I care about you guys. And you guys have given me so much in life. And I think it would just be really crazy if I was just like, you know, maybe, you know, let's say I get offered the job. And then the next thing that, you know, I've not told you guys about the interview or anything. And it's like, all right, guys, I'm not full time content creator anymore. I got I ex accepted a job. I think that would just be insane for me to do. So that's why I did say it. And I have let you guys know it's happening as I just think you guys deserve to know. It's the same thing. If I won the lottery and won 50 million pounds, I would also let you know. A lot of people would keep that quiet. No, I'd let you know. 
you know? Again, lane phase for me is going to be a bit difficult pre-6, just the range versus melee aspect. I've already said, I've dreamed upon, if I ever win massive stupid amount of money, a dream of mine, and it's a really stupid dream and I know it is, it'd be basically opening, like, a Huzzy Foundation, right? And, like, I would basically only, it would be a charity or something of whatever you'd call it, a trust, I don't know. And I would basically let only our audience apply for things that like, you know, and it wouldn't be anything crazy. Like I wouldn't be buying houses, but it'd be like, I'm a student, but I've been a viewer for yours for years. Can you help me with my books this year? Yep, they're all bought. Like stuff like that, I think would be absolutely insane. You know, that would be so cool. See if I can get a cheeky kill on the Kazakhs. Not going to use that because it will let him know I'm on my way. Hoping he's basing in here. Oh, he might be basing in there, but he's already gone by now. So that went pretty bad for my early bot lane. And again, they're the duo. I don't the enemy bot lane's not duo, but that's the duo that it's that was a bad cage. That's the duo that is the jungler and support. So that's probably why the Kazix is going there. There's duo players. Play very different. Do, 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 do. Yeah, well, in um, Queen Pleb's birthday card, she obviously turned 30. I'm turning 30 in a couple of months. I said this decade is going to be a crazy decade because it is. It's genuinely going to be an insane decade. We started her 30th, obviously, with getting engaged. And then we're going to get married in this decade, obviously. And we're very likely, you know, going to have at least our first kid. Probably, maybe even two. So, it's going to be a crazy decade. We're definitely going to move house as well. We're hoping... The plan was always to be in this house for five years. And then after that, try to find the family home. Get a much bigger garden for Maya and future kids and stuff like that. Java Zava, 59 months of prime. Thanks, dude. Why are you coming here? Yeah, I think of a lot of people, 30 to 40 is actually one of the biggest decades of your life. Would I rent this one out? No, no, no. I would be selling this one to buy the new one. I'm not rich enough to have two houses. But this Viger's playing crazy aggro. He could get ganked, but I don't know why I just never get jungle ganks. It's incredibly rare for me to get any type of jungle gank. I don't know why. I don't know what I've done to junglers. It's like every jungler of League just never ganks. He could flash ult to me. I have to be very careful because obviously the moment if he gets the R on me, I die. back. Oh, sucks. That's a bit too personal prowling. I don't like questions like that with the history that I've had. So again, early game is not going our way. Um, oh, Kane is doing quite bad. Cho'Gath. I expected Cho'Gath to die. Or not do well in the early game, to be honest. But I'd expect the Kane to not do as bad as he's doing. But he's doing pretty damn bad. But yeah, I don't like answering crazy personal questions. Because we had to deal with that stalker situation. But I'm still con in contact with police about. Again, there's a lot of stuff that you guys are not aware of that's happened over the years. And, it, and that was a situation that has... That really, really was bad. Off health. Do 
minions as well. There's the Kazakhs. He did your blue. Oh, I get cat of minions, bro. I knew it as well. I should have just gone. Wait, what? Pain. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, this game just seems doomed. Losing. Li Why would you flash? Just accept the death. We're losing literally everywhere. That Kazakh's just kind of into it, though. That was a really best bad death by Kazakhs. Because that cane really has not been doing good. So having that recovery kill actually gets him. I wouldn't say back in the game completely. But it sure does help. Aurelia's first item. What? Oh, it's a early ultimate. I heard when the next champion's being released? No. Skana rework's coming out, and they typically will... They kind of sometimes treat reworks as a new champion in terms of release dates. I wouldn't expect a new champion now for a couple of months. He went red cane. Ooh. I don't think he wanted to go red cane. I think he wanted to go blue. Do we know the role? Um, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, uh, what? What? Wait. What was the last champion that was released? Who was that again? I lose track half the time. Smolder. Okay, that was an AD carry. Is it a jungler next or something? Or Wait, no. Is it the support that they flipped? They, there was supposed to be a support that was coming out, I think. Like a new tanky support. And I think that got switched release schedule with Smolder. I think. That rings a bell. My damage is starting to get there. You're running to your Kazakhs. Might be a top laner, but like we did have Cassante not long ago. Again, it's really hard just to keep track of like what it's gonna be. I'm happy I got that kill. Hayden can win that if he gets his ultimate. He flashed. Go on, lad. Nice. Then Q. Oh, he just ran away. <sighs> uh, yeah. That. Oh, yeah. She. Oh my God. This cane is so bad. Um, she, it's her probably, right? They can. Didn't they confirm it? I'm pretty sure they confirmed the mum. I can't remember her name. The Noxus General Woman from Arcane, she's coming to League. It might be her. But again, isn't Arcane the end of this year? I'd imagine they would want to release her with Arcane Season 2. So yeah, she might not be next. She Again, hilariously, there's probably only one champion. And then... Her. Damn, that final little cue. 
that actually enough health stops me going back in, which is annoying. Yeah, we're starting to be at, we're we're starting to become a bit of a threat, which is exactly what we need to be. Wait, what? Renekton's here? What the heck, bro? You're Ignite Renekton? Oh, he's here for Dragon. Mm, that's annoying. I was fine with Kha'Zix being there. I just didn't expect a crocodile to be there. That was so weird. Okay. Okay. Dude, what is going on? Why is there a crocodile here? He's doing our blue. Oh, is that my puppy dog? Hello, puppies. That was a very tired walk that you just did. My, my, my. It's a Vestayan solo laner. Which is a Vestayan? Are they the animal people? Da, 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 da. We have no pressure. Oh, big stretch, my mind. We just gotta hope our late game is better than the enemy teams, but I don't even know. It might not be. Viger is good. Ophelios is good. Renekton will fall off, but is that enough? Is that enough? We have a getting a fed Zeri good and the, the bigger the distraction the zeri is the more i usually can do because i'll be like they'll want to kill the zeri and then be like hello i'm kassadin that will be viga going bot lane that gives me freedom in mid but then knowing my luck a kazix will show up Ta -da! ogath please don't be zero five please don't be zero five He went greedy going heart steel first. Like if you just go pure armor first, he would have been a lot safer. It's such a weird Vigar build. I, like why Shirelius? Is it to like a movement speed to run away from a melee Cassadin? No, I've not seen Rek'Sai top, but I'm also mainly banning Rek'Sai because I've heard it's really overpowered. I think this is a Merc tread, tread game for me. Because again, you need to value I don't do damage if I'm CC'd. Renekton's now bot lane. This Renekton, I think, is losing his mind. He, again, what this is, right? This Renekton knows he's falling off. He, so he knows he's falling off. So he's like, I have to do stuff. So he's running places that doesn't quite make sense. Oh, this is such a bad play by the enemy team. This is a desperation play. Oh my god, shut down, shut down, shut down. Well, thanks for the bunch of gold there to the enemy team. I shouldn't have done that. That was really silly by them. Yeah, go hop, go for it. <laughs> There you go. Huh? How did he get that far? Wait, I'm so confused. What? Where'd he go? Uh huh? I've been Houdini'd. Yeah, he must have altered, but like, I still think I would have seen him. What the heck? Okay. That was weird. He didn't ult in the big fight that just happened? Yeah, I might watch the replay after just to see where the hell he went. That genuinely has me interested. I need XP. Guys, I'm casted in. XP.
don't know why the enemy team did that. Like, if they wanted to do that crazy dive play, they had to do it straight away. But because they Redecton was just there in lane, it gave us going like, oh, that's what they want to do. And it gave us ample time to get there. Reaction time to that kind of play is just going to be really bad for them. Yeah, what? You pinging me to like group, or you pinging me that no one's here? They have just completely fallen apart because they're being so desperate. They don't need to be this desperate. That's the really weird thing. Like, I agree they need to do something to get ahead. I agree to that. But doing these insane desperate players are not it. They are not it. Uh, Q second max is more reliable, but W, I think, does more damage. Uh, Cassidy is not online yet. I need to be level 16. Are we actually not doing it? Oh my god, we're not doing it. That's annoying. Guess we have to be... Well, again, we, we know we probably outscale, so there's no need risking the game. Are they going to do it? The enemy team might do it now. Yeah. That's a mistake if they do it, though. They really should not do it. Would I like not to die there? I don't know why Renekton would flash. You're 100% dead. Yeah, this enemy team is playing this quite badly. Alright, it's wanting me to go Rod. It's too late to go Rod. Unless I think the game is truly going to go like 40 minutes. I don't think it is. I think this game's going to end about 32 minutes. If they can catch him, it'd be big. What the heck? That did not hit him! Whack! I want to go Death Cap. Oh, that would be a really bad death by Kane, because that does open up. Yeah, bro, that's so stupid. Again, the Kane is starting to get carried, but he's still making it really hard for us to win. I wanted to do blue, but now I've got to go back over to Baron. It's annoying. We have Cho'Gath in front. We might be able to be all right. Oh dear! Oh. Do what I can. Nice, dude. I have never seen an enemy team throw it this hard. No, no, Kazix is still up. The one that has smite. Okay, there you go. <laughs> what the heck? I really need more mana, though. Oh, My mana is so bad. What? Frozen Heart? I can't buy Frozen Heart next. I do need damage. I guess it's just not having blue. I think if I've got blue, I'll be fine. This is the more aggressive build on Cassadin that you ignore Roa because you go Malignance first, which is it basically gives you a lot more pressure as an early Cassadin than you should have, just because Malignance is not balanced, in essence. The item shouldn't exist in League. 
Why does this Renekton ult really early in fights? It is noticeable. He really wanted me. Oof. Did he ult the cane? Must have, I guess. Ah, you bombed. I kind of expected it. I'm surprised he actually did it in some ways. Because, like, you're just going to end up dead. This Aphelios, what are you doing? What the heck? Have you been watching this Aphelios in fights, everyone? His positioning is wild. Zonya's eventually. I don't mind dying if I do more than what my death is so like if i get involved in two kills i'm fine with dying i'm not if i wouldn't be if i was level 16 i'm not level 16 yet so i don't really care i'm not cast a god yet because i'm not 16. i'm gonna go top lane and get solo xp for a while i've got tp if they need me they probably don't you keep falling for april first post on twitter yeah i hate today man i just don't find it fun you know? Most of them I don't find funny. The only one so far that I've chuckled at was the Stoltman brothers, which are a strongman brother team. They have a bro they have a younger brother who's like vaguely getting into strongman. And he's not bad, but like he's not an actual strongman. And they did a post kind of pretending a Photoshop of them of Tom and Luke kind of merged together in like a look and going, we never told you we have a, another brother and he's starting Strongman too. That was quite funny. So the Renekton, by the way, if you're like, why was he here? Because he knows he's not that useful, useful anymore. So he's desperate to do something. So his something could be, could be split pushing. TP Blair, by the way. Because I was worried of Renekton's flank. But look at look at the enemy base, by the way. Minions. There's the Renekton. What are you doing, dude? I just don't get people picking Renekton. To me, he's just useless. If you don't snowball with him. Nope, they're going all in. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm just chain CC. I'm dead. They really wanted the Zeri. I should have reacted quicker. But that's their like massive all in play. That's literally all they can do. That's fine. They don't get anything else for it. There's no dragon, there's no baron. He and he, he ults before every single fight, which is weird as well. I just don't know, maybe he's not a Renekton player. Oh uh oh. These guys overstayed. They willingly just walked into the Renekton because they're not scared of him. That's crazy. They have to try and get the enemy. If Basically, the enemy team have to wait when they're all grouped up. And these two have to just go by one by one. And they can kill things. Like, I'd go all in on Ophelios. Oh. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. That was good. Jeez. That was really good. Wow. That was impressive. So Shane, if they killed Aphelios there, I think the enemy team would have right then and there. Like, he might be just dying. But yeah, I think they would have right there just surrendered the game. That was insane. That survival was, in, like, so good. I need level 16. Diddy, diddy, diddy. And then I can take over. I don't know if I take over the moment I hit 16. I think I need death cap maybe. But yeah. Uh, there's a patch this Wednesday. All right in Viga though. 
Is his items just cheaper than mine? Like, why does he have so many items? Uh, death by the croc. Still looking to probably try and split push a bit, because what else can he do? Oh. I don't like to do this, but, like, it's a free win. So I may as well take it. They're winning. The enemy team are going to surrender in a second anyway. GG. Well... Again, this game could have been close when it came to scaling, but it was just the AD carry actual difference. Not even, like, scaling difference. The Aphelios played bad, the Zeri played good. It just it boiled down to that. I didn't even manage to, like, turn up in the game yet. Uh, uh, yeah, the Relictin is ulting like that, basically, because he gets an instant full Fury bar. I still don't like it, though. I would prefer him to go for a fight, get a Fury Bar, then Ultimate, then get an instant Fury Bar again. I think that's a much better way of doing it, but every single fight he ulted early. Okay, we got plus 20. Again, plus 20, I will take. You know, it wasn't long ago that every game we were getting plus 18, you know? So I will take that happily. Even one game earlier, we got plus 22. Uh, so obviously my stats are not going to be impressive. We're a pre-level 16 Kassadin. Like, it's not my point of the game. So we went 6, 6, 10, 14.5k damage. That's fine. I was useful, and we got involved before the point that Cassidy is supposed to absolutely take over. So I will be happy with that, to be honest. If you guys did enjoy a bit of a fiesta game, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our